Hey guys, it's Jules from Table Tech Enterprise. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to copy um, music, photos, videos, even other stuff, um, like files and stuff, from your iPhone or iPod Touch. I'm not sure if it works with other iPods, but iPhone and iPod Touch to your PC. Now this is a pretty simple way to do this. It doesn't involve iTunes and it's about if you want to um, copy all this stuff without having to restore your iPod and you know like when you connect it to it if you've got a new computer or you're at a friend's place or something and you want to copy the music from your iPhone or iPod to the computer um, when you sync it when you go to sync it with iTunes it's gonna say you know delete all your data so this is about getting around that obviously if you've got an iPod classic you can manually manage it so you can use it as a USB but I think this is a pretty simple way to do it and it's free it's like completely free there's no file limit restrictions I had a long search to find this and I found a lot of paid ones but this was the first actually free one I found so um, go to your favorite web browser like it's Firefox and um, do a search for iPhone browser now I'll put a link up in the description for this so go down and hit that link you want to go here to the top one or this one and it should be a, a google website like code.google.com and here you've got your um, all your downloads for iPhone browser now the one the second link in google is just the project home and just like this, you know, it's just going to be like that. Members, wiki pages, all that. Um, this is a good one to click. But the other thing for this is, you will need a jailbroken phone to do this, or iPod. Um, jailbreaking is really easy, and I'll be putting up a video probably in the next couple of hours on how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 on an iPhone or iPod Touch. So you want to click this one and click that link and it should download to your computer. I'm not going to do it because I already have it obviously. Now when you have that, go to your, wherever you downloaded it. should be here, this one here, be this one. I'll click on that. And do follow the setup instructions. should be pretty simple. Just download that. Now open the file and you should be presented with this now at the moment I'm actually copying music from this is why I did this tutorial because I'm actually doing it at the moment but um, you'll see here this is what it'll open to and um, this is everything so be careful what you go ahead and delete and stuff because you could actually stuff it up but um, if you want to actually get to your music forget what I've done here with the library you see down here there's a user that should be on the main page you won't need to open up any folders to get to user go user go down to media hit open up iTunes control and you should have music here now you don't need to open it these are all just folders of music now they're in no particular order there's no like um this one will be from a to c artists or whatever i have a you know maybe over five thousand songs or something because it's a 32 gig ipod so what you should do is click on music right click and go save folder in and it should come up with your computer and you just save it to desktop or whatever and at the moment mine's working down here now I did do this before on a um, friend's computer so I know that this works um, and then obviously you can do videos and stuff like that you'll probably have to find them um, if you want to just make sure it's actually doing something this is the folder that I saved it in and these are all the things now you can see here when you copy these files into iTunes it'll automatically put the 
album name and stuff in because you can see here that's just some weird coding title thing but you can see my music is copying in no particular order and it's just copying and that's going to take quite a while because of the amount of songs that I have but um, obviously if you have less songs it'll take far less it's just because there's a lot of songs and it's got to copy them all so that's how to do it when you have finished open up iTunes and just drag that entire file folder in and it should automatically do that and select them so then if you're going to restore your iPod you'd click erase and sync and then it'd sync all your music back and then obviously if you want a videos um, video should be here somewhere I don't think I actually have any videos on my iPod but there's like stuff like music for a jailbroken iPod so that's good you can copy all your downloaded stuff purchases recording safari please rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching